Guys, welcome back to another fish room and self love update. So, I rescued the red devil from PetSmart. He's been sitting in the tank for a while now. And you guys are probably thinking, when are you going to release him to the major tank? Why is it in that, in that tank itself? Why is it separated? All these questions are happening. However, the reason why I did that is I wanted to acclimate the fish to his new environment, which means is that I want everybody else to get used to him being in a tank and he get used to them, right? I mean, personalities can vary. People, fish are different, it's like people are different. So how do you make sure that the fish are getting what they need in an right environment? As I took my time to feed him, let him grow out a little bit, it's a different environment. Um, he's getting more care, more good food. Like I said, the old guy was like, sorry, the old guy, other guy was like, Hey, this is a fish, he gets fish flakes, and you know, every now and then they get a treat. I feel my fish blood worms and krill. Best food, best environment. So, look at this video right now, and it'll show you right then and there what happened when I took him out the tank. Stay tuned. As you guys can see, I got the grow out tank, and you can see the red devil is chasing everybody around. Says, so may not be a good tank for anybody to go, and he may need to go on another timeout. That'll be a different video there watching that. So. All right, so you probably saw the video, and as soon as I took him out the tank and put him into the main tank, so I have to put him back inside, I call it timeout, is he all of a sudden became a dominant fish. I was a sur surprise. Now, Bully, <clears throat> sorry, not Bully, Bully's downstairs, but up here, Curious George is kind of like the tank uh, boss. So he pretty much set the tone for every fish that comes into the tank. However, the Red Devil, I don't have a name yet, he came out and he was like, no, buddy, I'm ready to go. And actually, there I didn't get on camera, but the, the um, Curious George and the fish locked up. They were pretty much head to head. Curious George got a little, a little um, nip on his lip, so you can tell right then and there that it wasn't working. Everybody started to move out the out the way because hey, new sheriffs in town, right? So I had to put him back in his little tank. Still gonna feed him well, and I'm gonna now play musical chairs. Which tank? We we'll actually get this fish. He probably needs to go in a tank where fish are a little bit bigger, a little more aggressive. He may go to 180. He may go to 75. Not for sure yet, but you got some comment where. So if you like my videos and you like my what I'm doing, comment, subscribe, let me know. But also, let's talk about one thing that's important. The amount of stress I go through keeping fish and how I was just at work and I'm where I'm working, right? At the same time, I'm looking over my fish tanks, my office is right there no excuse the other stuff i was stressed out because i'm like oh my god my fish was going to happen the rest of the fish are in there so the amount of stress i was taking and i was glad i was able to overcome that and i was glad i was able to figure out a solution for it and just remember everything you go through in life good bad right or wrong depending upon how you want to name it it's all what adjustments uncomfortable at first but adjustments in the end so think about that or if you have to drive in a car and you realize the first time driving a car was scary, you didn't know what's gonna happen, but now you've been driving for five years or 10 years, you feel much better. Again, a job. First time you start a job, the first 60, 90 days are really kind of what's gonna happen, you know, what's what's gonna be up, what's gonna what's gonna what's gonna happen overall. Remember, adjustment, 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 again, adjustment. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys soon and stay fishing.